Shalom, all praises to Yahweh Basham El Shai, the honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, Shalom to the elect, Basham Rachak Wadash, my name is Yakaba from Plain Tables Camp. This is Luke 21 and 8, and he said, Take heed that ye be not deceived, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Mashiach, or, and the time draweth near, or I am uh, anointed, I am, uh, you know, a prophet, come follow me. You know, it's amazing. There's going to be false prophets out there. All right. The time draweth near. Go ye not therefore after them. All right. But when ye shall hear of wars and commotions, be not terrified. For these things must first come to pass, but the end is not by and by. So we know that, for example, the uh, U.S. and Britain, which is the beast, all right, is uh, bombing the Houthis in Yemen. For a reprisal against attacking uh, shipping in the Red Sea. All right. So you look up. Uh, got a video too. Wars and commotions. Yeah. G forty one seventy one. We got polymos battle dispute strife uh, quarrel because this is not gonna. That's it's not the um, the very end when we see these different wars breaking out. These different uh, disputes. You know, bomb dropping that's not the uh it's not the very very end we're in, in we're in the last days but it's not the very end we still have the the uh, revelation 13 15 on down has to take place all right that that wicked number 666 has to be implanted in people's body uh, via the microchip all right we got commotions all right commotion means a catastastia Which means instability, state of disorder, disruption, and confusion. That's what, and that's, well, that's what Babylon is all about. All right? Confusion. All right? So there's going to be wars on multiple fronts. Uh, they're saying they don't, they don't really don't want to get into the war, but they're just... Uh, says U.S. denies seeking war with Yemen as new strikes report. Washington only wants to stop Houthi militants from hitting ships in the Red Sea. And the National Security Council... Spokesman says, all right. It don't matter what they're what they're what they intended to do, is that they're actually doing it. What they're intent what they're intending to do, what their motive is, is that they're they're involved in these wars. And this is fulfilling prophecy. But that, like Yahweh Shah said, and it's not by and by. All right. If you go back to war it says be not terrified, for these things must first come to pass, but the end is not by and by. The end, telos, termination of the limit. So we still have more, more prophecy to go through. Uh, we still have uh, the, the Revelation 13, 15 on down to go through. All right. That which a thing is finished, it's closed issue. Uh, so it's not the end yet. So we still have time, a time period to move through of more prophecy. Look here. U.S. military strikes another Houthi controlled site after warning ships to avoid parts of Red Sea. Yeah, so uh, I don't know if they have an agreement with the government of Yemen. It has invaded the airspace. I don't know what the, the, the particulars are. It says, in the image provided by the U.K. Ministry of Defense taken Thursday, January 11th, Typhoon aircraft taking off from RAF, RAF, we got Ak Ak Acro Tiri in Cyprus, Cyprus, I believe Cyprus is part of the EU, I'm not sure if they're part of NATO, let me look that up real quick. Right there, so that that this proves that that they're all work really working together, just unofficially. So you can't even really trust what what they say. Who's a part of NATO? Who's a part of EU? And all that. If they're all working together behind the scenes, they they're just showing us what the you know, front facing information. No, Cyprus is not a member of NATO. It is one of the, it is one of five EU members states that are not members of the Atlantic Treaty Organization, and the only. One that does not participate in NATO's partnership of peace, but they launch attacks from their country. 
So this is why the apostles and elders said that the, the beast is NATO and the EU because they flip flop between you know who who is in their military and who who's uh, uh, participating in their pro, uh, partnership of peace programs, etc. All right, it's not one or the other. Uh, the beast is both because they 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 try to deceive you on who's really working with each other. And this is some evidence right here. This, this proves it. They're launching attacks from Cyprus, which is not a part of NATO. And the United States and Britain are a part of NATO. That's the military uh, form uh, or leg of the, of the, uh, the beast in the Book of Revelation. For a mission to strike targets in Yemen. All right. So they, they're uh, in confederacy with the beast, with NATO and the EU. All right. And again, this is that we the Congress vote on this, that the Britain people vote on this. This is news, you know, have you know, happened in the past you know, couple of days. Today's the uh, 15th, January 15th. All right. Uh, the video. It says U uh, U.S. U.K. launched huge retaliatory strike against Houthis. So Associated Press apparently uh, the U.S. and British militaries bombed more than a dozen sites used by the Iranian the uh, Iranian-backed Houthis in Yemen. U.S. Central Command. All right, so so you know they, they always try to hide like who who who's it running this who's who's the head of this so this is also fills a prophecy of making fire come down from heaven. All right, do his miracles. That's one of the miracles that Esau does his uh, missile technology. The U.S. and British militaries bombard bombed more than a dozen sites used by the Iranian backed Houthis in Yemen. Warships and submarine launched Tomahawk missiles and fighter jets were used in a massive retaliatory strike, U.S. officials said. And so they got into the, so the, uh, the beast got into the war officially, even though they were still in the war through uh, the Khazars in the land of Israel. Just like they're in the war in Ukraine. The beast is fighting them. They're supplying all their, their, uh, their, they're supplying the portions of their power all right, to fight the Russians. That's the same way the beast was formed. The beast was formed that way. The Revelation uh, what, 17. Get that real quick. These have one mind. That's how you know it. Uh, it says, uh, and the 10, Revelation 17, 
And the ten horns which thou sawest are ten kings which have received no kingdom as of yet, but have received power as kings one hour with the beast. These have one mind and shall give their power unto the beast. Okay? So that's how we, we know the beast is fighting, no matter what names they use under. Because how, how, you, how you fight as a beast, you give your power. Well, you give your, uh, your money and resources to fight the war. So the beast is fighting. Yeah, man. I'm just going to read it. U.S. Central Command, or the Beast, Warship, and Submarine Launched Tomahawk Missiles. Uh, we already read that. Just a proxy war. Just like Ukraine. It says, it, it says the military targets include logistical hubs, air defense systems, and weapons storage and launching locations, officials said. President Biden said these strikes are in direct response to unprecedented Houthi attacks against international maritime vessels in the Red Sea. So they're entering the war to help the, uh, the Khazars in the land of Israel. The Houthis say their assaults are aimed at stopping Israel's war on Hamas in Gaza Strip. Well, yeah, that's what most people believe. They're, help, they're helping out. Helping their helping their brothers out because they have to have, remain keep a foothold open in, in the uh, east so they can attack Iran, Syria, and different uh, countries whom they have to conquer to bring in their new world order. So that's why this the state of, uh, that land over there was, was was put there. They put a bunch of Caucasians with some of them with, with tans to uh, act as a, a military base in the east. But their targets increasingly have little or no connection to to Israel and imperial uh, imperial a crucial trade route linking Asia and the Middle East with Europe. All right, so that's the uh, uh, that's the explanation. They say it ain't got nothing to do with uh, helping the uh, Israelis, but you know, I believe so. It just, it's just very convenient, very convenient. All right, part of attack, uh, you know, uh, fighting the Khazar Jays over there is attacking ships. That's part of you know the. You know, stopping their money, that's a, that's a part of war. So they can't re-up on supplies. So that's, uh, the Houthis are, uh, doing that in the Red Sea is a part of the, them, them fighting the, uh, the Khazars in, in the Levant. It's not separate. So by attacking the Houthis, you are helping the, uh, the Khazar Jays over there in the, in the Levant. They're fighting a normal. The Houthis are fighting a normal war against those Khazar Jays. You, uh, you, just, you don't keep their their trade routes separate from fighting the the, the, uh, the government and or people. You attack the trade routes. You cut them off. So it's harder for them to you know re up on supplies and eat. You just don't. Just militarily attack them with no missiles. That's just, that's a stupid. You don't fight war like that. You cut off supply chains. All right. So we know this is not the end. We're going to see more wars on more fronts. All right. Uh, then Luke twenty one and ten. Then said he unto them, Nations shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. All right. So these are the signs, Luke twenty one, that we're going to see. In the last days, all right. But we know that more prophecy has to come to pass. This is not yet 
the very end. All right. So I'll leave that there. Hope you were edified. Show on to the next lesson.